Hey, in this video I'm going to give you a glimpse of what it feels like to be a professional software developer. We're not going to talk much about what a developer is or what a developer does, it's mostly about the feeling and maybe also what it takes to become one. My name is Vlad and the first line of code I wrote was over 10 years ago and it wasn't a hello world or it wasn't a real application, it was just a script for a game called Counter-Strike which was very popular back in the day. And the script would allow me to buy a bunch of weapons with the press of a single button. It will also change the settings of the game to my liking and many few other small things. Back in the day, all my friends used to play this game and we would write those scripts and show them to each other and be proud of them. That was the coolest thing about that script. It just freaking worked. Like, did you ever have this feeling like you built something that works and you want to show it to everyone and most of the time they don't give a crap about it but you're still amazed by how awesome it is. I got so hooked by that feeling so I decided to make a career out of it and I have been having this feeling ever since, almost every day. And what if I tell you that you could have this feeling as well and also be paid for it? Pause this video if you have to and think about how your life would change. This is the first video on my new YouTube channel where over a period of time I'm going to be teaching you how to develop professional grade software. My intention is not simply to teach you programming though. Uh, first of all because there are already a bunch of resources out there and secondly because there is quite a huge difference between simply programming and professional grade software development which I'm sure we'll discuss in one of my future videos. Eventually I will be doing tutorials on all the things but in the beginning the vision for this channel is to take a bit of a less of a hands-on approach. We will learn things about our industry, our best practices, the way we see the world and so on. So if you're looking for tutorials for tools and frameworks, you should definitely stick around. However, if you just want to jump in and get your hands dirty with if statements and while loops, then go ahead, who am I to stop you? Since you're still here, I'm assuming you want to know if you have what it takes to become a developer. And the thing is, when people meet a developer, they assume a bunch of things. They think that you're so good at math, that you're super smart, that you like computers more than people, that you probably live in the cellar of your mother's house, and that you hate sunlight, and that you have some university degree, and also most likely that you have to be a guy. Most of these are misconceptions. Um, sure, there is a bit of analytical thinking involved, but there is hardly any math. And yeah, a few developers experience difficulties socializing, but most of them are doing just fine. They're happily married, they have kids, they go out all the time and so on. If you're still having doubts, don't worry about it. If you're still at school and you don't know what to study, you can study this, even if you don't like math and even if you don't like computers. I mean, let's be honest, you probably shouldn't if you don't like computers. Also, you're, if you're thinking you're too old, you're not. And also, if you're a woman out there and you think that it's only for guys, not only you can do it, but trust me, you really should. Soon I'm gonna make an entire video about why I think that women are actually better suited for software career than men. Whatever it is you think you don't have to to become a professional software developer, trust me, it's just a mental block, so just take it and throw it out the window. I put together a set of 10 skills you need to acquire to make it happen, and I will not elaborate on this list because I'm gonna make individual videos about every item on that list, so for now just have a tiny leap of faith. One last thing before we jump into the list. Allow me to address the biggest misconceptions of all, that you have to be good at math. Here's the thing, unless you have a memory span of a goldfish, you should remember that in the beginning of this video I said that the first line of code I wrote was over 10 years ago. And I know I look young, but just a few weeks ago I turned 30, and calculating how old I was back then is all the math you will ever need. There, I said it, roll the credits. So here's the list of the 10 things that I think you need to become a software developer. 1. You have to want it. You also need to understand how learning works, you need to learn English, you need to get used to reading and get used to typing. You need to optimize for self-marketing, you need to make your own decisions and draw your own conclusions. You need to take care of yourself, mentally and physically, you need to care about other people, you need to care about the code that you write, and also we need to enjoy. As you can see, there's nothing on that list about math or logic or genes or having brains bigger than the size of a planet. In fact, there is almost nothing software specific in that list at all. You can learn all of this. Oh, and by the way, allow me to introduce you to one of the oldest jokes in our industry, the curse of the off by one error. I'm sure some of my points left you hungry for explanations, whereas others were pretty much self-explanatory. Let me know in the comments below what your biggest concerns are about getting into software. For now, simply start learning these things at your own pace. 
and also remember that none of them are prerequisites by any means so you will be learning them during your journey and not before so don't let this list stop you from grabbing a book about some programming language go get your hands dirty so are you ready to see how deep the rabbit hole goes remember all i'm offering is the truth <laughs>